Woo. All right, good afternoon everybody. It's me, Spencer Lee, back with another video. Today, we are out here shooting sunset in Kona again with the drains. We're not out here with our usual photography crew. Unfortunately, all those guys couldn't make it on this trip. So instead, I brought along Kylie, but she's sitting far out, far away from this uh, sketchy area that I'm standing in over here. But today, we've got a pretty clear sky day, clear skies for sunset except for that little bit of cloud down that way. So I'm gonna try and shoot this drain kind of from a side angle. This is a drain we haven't shot before, me personally, but Darwin shot it a couple of times and he was gracious enough to show me the spot. The only issue is that the tide is coming up and it's rising. So I just am kind of hanging back and waiting to see how crazy these waves get before I commit and set up my camera. Because yeah, these waves are pretty massive and they're only gonna get bigger from here. But we've already got everything set up, got the big boy tripod, got the uh, 1635 three-stop ND filter. I think that's all we're going to need here today. Alright, so I guess since we're committing to shooting this sunset, we've got like 15 minutes left. Well, we might as well get everything set up and we'll kind of, I'll kind of walk you guys through my composition here as these big waves kind of crash around us. So as you can see, we've got a lot of water flow here, especially on this side of the drain, kind of shooting back towards the clouds. And that's exactly what I want. All these clouds are going to light up. We're going to get water flow just on that side of the drain and it's gonna look nice. There's even a little bit of water flow down here, but that's all in shadow mostly. But yeah, let's uh, get set up, get ready to shoot here because the, the light is starting to turn. It's starting to get a little more golden. Woo! Big wave, guys. Woohoo! Hold on to your hats. Yeah, buddy. I like it, I like it a lot. a big one. <laughs> oh man. Everything's still dry. Oh, that's a big, big one. Let's get out of here. Woo. Woo. Almost took. Ah. Almost took you with it. See, that was a really big one. Good thing I got out of there and I didn't lose two tripods. Oh man. Okay, well, <laughs> that was a, almost tragic. Now the new strategy is number one, set the vlog camera a little bit more back here. That way the, wave, the big waves when they come in, they can't reach it. Not only do we have to be mindful of getting the camera off the tripod, we also have to be mindful of getting the tripod out of the water as well because we almost legit lost this tripod. So, get the camera back into optimal position. And if we see a big wave like that, we can always run away, just like how we did. We just gotta remember, we also need to bring the tripod with us if we choose to run away once again. This one's okay. Oh yeah. That's some good stuff. Getting some beautiful red light across the mountains here. That song if you're not from Hawaii you probably won't know this song but if you are you know that song Opihi man you need to remix that for photographers that shoot seascapes because there's a line in that song and it goes keep your eye on the wave don't ever turn your back yeah that's exactly what I'm telling myself right now because these waves 
are ready to take my camera and take my tripods and swallow them up whole. We're gonna risk it again for the vlog. Do it for the vlog. We're gonna get you closer. And in case a big wave like that does come, we'll just grab both tripods and put them both on top of our heads. But yeah, you gotta see that side light that we're getting right now. That's, that's quite nice. We gotta see the action of the drains that are kicking out right now. Even the small waves are creating beautiful, beautiful results. We just always, always have to be aware of that, those one or two rogue waves that come in when the sets are at its highest, those are the ones we got to run away from. But everything else, perfect. Beautiful sunset. Even though it's just a little bit of orange on the horizon, it's still a beautiful sunset. Beautiful water flow. Can't really ask for anything better on a clear sky like this. All I ask is just for a little bit of cloud to hang out on the horizon, and that's exactly what we're getting right now. And I think what I like most about this is that the leading lines from this water lead up directly to where the, the clouds look the best so it's like couldn't have picked a better dream for tonight's sunset and i'm glad that we chose this one even though we got our tripods and stuff knocked over it was totally worth it our sun is almost set on the horizon so but yeah sometimes hey you gotta risk it for the biscuit and that's exactly what we did here today and i think we got some pretty good results out of it If there is one lesson from this shoot that I want you to take home is when shooting seascapes, never ever ever do what I'm doing right at this second is turning my back towards the ocean. Always be double checking and looking back and making sure that all of your camera gear is safe to avoid a disastrous outcome from one rogue wave. If you want to get into this type of photography, remember the song by Ka'ao Crater Boys, Opihi Man, and remember the line, keep your eye on a wave, don't never turn your back. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another clear sky sunset here at the Kona Drains. Man, it's frustrating because I feel like every single time I come here, we've got clear skies. And it's most painful because I've been really trying hard to get a shot into the sun with this big drain because it's just, the water flow is just so nice uh, with this drain. But uh, wait till I show you guys what's happening behind you. We're going to walk across and maybe risk all of our camera gear once again here today to try and get maybe, maybe a good shot. Good news is look at how much cloud cover we have here today. The issue that I'm having right now is there's a rainbow out there in the distance. It's starting to come out a little bit. I know there's gonna be some people out there are gonna say, this is a very, very bad idea. And I'm one of those people that would very much agree with you. Oh man, but that rainbow is just doing good. It looks like there's more rainbows kicking off in the distance as well. Yeah, I think we're going to need a three-stop ND filter as well to pair with this polarizer. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The stupidest ideas for seascape photography happen right here on this channel. Oh man, our stuff is barely staying dry, but the ways are absolutely nuts. We 
are getting some absolutely killer water flow. The issue that I'm having though is hopefully you guys are able to see the composition that I have framed up right now. The only issue that I'm having is that the rainbow looks super, super small and teeny tiny. Hopefully you guys can see it out there. Yeah, there it is. So I took a couple steps back and we're actually on the one dry area of the rocks, which is good. But we're zoomed in to maybe about 24 millimeter, I would say. And the rainbow is still really, really small, I have to say. So if we're just gonna settle for having the rainbow be a little bit smaller in the frame. Hopefully it gets a little bit bigger. But man, we are getting incredible water flow right now. Here's a huge wave that's washing over everything, as you can see, except for us, thank the Lord. But we're just gonna watch this thing drain into itself. This view is absolutely, oh my God. <laughs> I need to film one of these waves that are behind me so you can see how much terror I have when these big waves wash in. Hang on, let me grab this shot here. At this point, I'm going to resort to doing handheld vlogging only because with the waves that are crashing behind us, I'll show you guys in a second, it might be one of those situations where I have to tuck it and run or just grab onto everything and hold it tight. There's no way that I'm going to trust having double tripods up with the waves coming in like how they are. Like watch this wave as it comes in. Look at all this water coming towards us. Oh my God, we're literally going to die today. We are literally about to, to just get absolutely destroyed. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's coming in from all angles. And we're just standing here on this little piece of rock just trying to hold on for dear life. My goodness. I'm not even focused on taking images now. I'm just focused on trying to survive. <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. This is really, really crazy. Guys, I do not recommend this. Okay, quick little update. Since our rainbow is so small in the frame, what I opted to do instead is focus more on the cloud formation as my sky interest. I'm trying to get, get a shot now of this big, big cloud formation too. And that rainbow on the bottom is just a nice touch to have. It's just to add that nice little bit of touch to the image on the bottom. Like, oh, hey, look, there's a little rainbow down there too. But as the sun gets lower and lower on the horizon, as the sky transitions from this white color into an orange, I think these clouds are gonna look absolutely epic. Not like supercell crazy, but mini Hawaii supercell crazy. We don't get those big storms here in Hawaii very often. So this is as best as we can do. Okay, update, but maybe not necessarily the update that uh, I would consider to be good. But our cloud, our cloud formation is dissipating. It's starting to get less and less dramatic. Is that the right word? So I kind of have had to adjust my composition. I just moved over slightly. We're still gonna try and shoot this because it is cloud cover. It's literally the only cloud cover that we had. But because I saw the rainbow as I was driving here, I opted to come here and shoot this drain. I originally had planned to shoot a different drain, a new drain that I didn't even shot before and maybe possibly shoot these clouds behind it. And I'm starting to like those clouds better than these clouds. But I was sidetracked by the rainbow and distracted and now we're in this life-threatening, not really, but, but this really, really sketchy situation with our cameras. So uh, moral of the story is stick to your plans because sometimes if you get sidetracked, that can lead you to standing here on the edge of the cliff, overlooking your fate, possibly by falling into the Pacific Ocean. But we're gonna try and shoot this anyways. Hopefully the clouds at least light it up a little bit 
our rainbows have disappeared as well so that also doesn't make it that dramatic but i'm glad that we were able to get a couple shots earlier both telephoto just focused in on the rainbow as well as a little bit wider when the cloud formation was a little more dramatic update our cloud formation continues to look worse and worse as the sunset progresses so to react to that i split the camera over to a horizontal composition that way i get the drain that we were shooting earlier this back one but i also get a little bit of the one towards the right so at least we got a little bit more foreground elements in the frame and it kind of works a little bit better because the cloud formation is also a little bit more horizontal and less vertical so that's the only change that we're making right now the clouds are still a little bit white, not quite the orange looking color. We still don't have the rainbows that are coming back again, but just a switch up in the composition, hopefully, hopefully it works. think even a little bit of rainbow over there oh, I'm kicking myself even more uh, anyways we moved so that was the rock that we were standing on earlier now we are directly into in the fire zone hooray hooray at least we're protected by a little bit of that rock wall there but our composition has changed we are now back a little bit further and kind of shooting the waves a little more at a lower angle and shooting the drain at a little more little bit of a lower angle but yeah because the cloud cover is so low on the horizon now it's kind of forcing me to move backwards drop the camera and still try to get the drains in the shot so i'm just trying anything i can to zoom in on the clouds keep the clouds in the frame as well as keep the drain in the frame and that that uh required me moving off of my little safety rock there down to this little sketchy rock hopefully i survive hopefully hopefully i survive <laughs> I think that's the best we're gonna get from this angle but I'm not just gonna sit here and pretend that the sunset is not better in that direction call me stupid Spencer already just just I should change change my YouTube handle but I'm gonna try and hike to the other side of the drain and try and see if we can get one more shot with that cloud and the drains it might require us getting wet but we're gonna try it give me a second let me get into position in this cloud get away from me we came over here and we're just shooting this little ledge of water. It seems like everything is relatively, I, I'm not gonna say the C word, but just a little bit of water flow with this little bit of sky here. Just trying to make something out of nothing. I tried to get around that way and try to shoot the drains back that way, but I feel like standing on that rock pretty much means certain death. But then again, look at where I'm standing here. So I can't really say, but yeah, we'll see when the big waves get here, but yeah, the water flow is looking beautiful. Man. All right, there goes the light. We got a little bit of light on the mountain here too. Wish I could find a composition for that, but man. Was any of this risk worth it? I'll let you guys be the judge, but man, it sure doesn't feel like it was because I pretty much shit in my pants. The entire time we were here for what's probably some mediocre drain shots. Uh, but I mean, the water was nice, it was crazy. Maybe a little too nice and a little too crazy for me today. Good afternoon, guys. Remember yesterday when I said that I was wishing for cloud cover? 
Well, today we got it, but I think we got a little too much cloud cover today. There's a thick layer of clouds right here on the horizon, but gotta shoot it anyways. Who knows, maybe it could light up. So I decided since we had so much clouds, we would come back to one of the drains and try to shoot into the sun this time. We've shot this drain before from a side angle, but unfortunately, again, the, these big waves are kind of messing us up here. I want to walk out towards where the drain is to really shoot down and shoot in, into it. But these waves are too crazy and too massive. There's no way I can get close enough to the drains to get a shot unless I want to risk my life again, just like how I did yesterday. So I think instead there's a wall of water that's washing over on that side. I think if we can make our way and maneuver, outmaneuver these waves and walk over there safely, we probably could get a decent shot. You can just see the water coming over the walls just to my left. So we'll try and do that instead of trying to shoot these waves because I'm all the way up here. The drain is like super, super far away. There's no way I can shoot the drain from this distance. So we're gonna try and see if we can go for something different. Oh. Okay, so much like yesterday, I'm gonna hop on to this what seems to be a relatively dry rock for now. The tide is going up, so who knows, it might not stay dry for very long. But I, instead of shooting away from the sun, I wanna shoot into the sun, and I think I found the perfect subject to do that from. And I think we can actually shoot this telephoto maybe, or at least a little more telephoto than usual, uh, and possibly also stay safe at the same time. But yeah, this is our rock of safety for now. Check out this crazy wave that's coming in right here. Boom! Whoa! All right, so there's a big wave coming in now. Let me kind of show you guys the thought process of what I'm having for this shot here. So when the big waves come in, they wash over the rock wall, but it creates these nice little waterfalls right there. Now, I don't want to get that close because this whole area is probably highly unsafe. So maybe I could stand on that rock, but you can see the waves wash over and create beautiful, beautiful water flows. Um, and the sunset should be setting right in the same line and in the same angle. Uh, so hopefully we can get a shot of that. So what I'm kind of banking on is that the lighting event, whatever it is, whether it be light rays or just a small little, little bit, little sun star or just a burner, hopefully, fingers crossed, whatever it is, I just hope that it happens low on the horizon because that's actually going to work better for our telephoto shot. If the sky somehow magically lights up all the way, I'm going to have to like take a huge risk, try to walk really close to the water and uh, try and get a nice wide shot. But if things stay like how they are, as the light rays start to come out again, um, if things stay how they are and everything happens low on the horizon, we'll be, we'll be fine. We'll be just fine. And there we go, now we're getting some light ray action, hell yeah. Oh crap, here comes a big one. Oh man, and the light rays are just getting good right now. Here we go guys. Woo, there it is. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Woo. One more wave coming in behind it. Oh yes, that's nice, that's beautiful. So what I think I'm going to do, we've been shooting these, shooting the waves for a little while now and this rock in front of us has stayed dry. I do want to try and get a little bit closer to the wall to the water and hopefully maybe hopefully stay dry number one but number two hopefully be able to get a better shot of the light rays oh man i gotta walk through this water though or jump over the water oh my god as soon as i say that <laughs> a huge wave just comes in and destroys this whole thing Oh my god, light's kicking off right now, beautiful light rays on the horizon. I am not set up for a shot here. Oh, 
I don't think the sun is gonna quite pop its head out. We still got some light ray action going on right now. Here comes the big waves. Here's what a big one coming in. All right, give us the composition, give us the water flow that we need with this last little bit of light. And hopefully I don't have to blend. Woo! That's a fat one. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. What a crazy photography world that we live in, guys. Man, that was beautiful though. The water flow crashing in just creates such dramatic patterns in the water. So when the waves crash in, we're really getting like a couple of tiers of water flow. We've got two tiers coming off of the main long wall, but we've got one more rock in the immediate foreground and that's kind of functioning as our foreground and the water flows over that as well. So what I want is like double cascade, triple cascade action, all leading towards where the sun is setting. And I think the sun is actually popping its head out of the sky just very faintly right now. Perfect timing for one more wave. That was a nice one. a huge wave coming in right now oh man I hope we all stay dry oh this is crazy I'm more afraid of you getting wet because you're getting splashed by like the back water the back wash of all these waves let me show let me see if I can show you guys we got all the waves back there crashing on these rocks so I think I got to move you a little bit closer okay so our sun, I think, has pretty much gone below the, her, the thick layer of clouds. So now, really, the only thing that we're hoping for is in, I don't know, the last, what time is it? The last 10 minutes of the sunset or so, is if there's anything that comes up from this little patch in the clouds. I don't think that, they, that there will be, but we're just gonna kind of hang out here and still shoot anyways for the possibility that something crazy might happen. But yeah, these waves are, are just incredible. They're incredibly dangerous, but they are still incredible. So junk. The one time I asked for clouds, I didn't want this much. Ugh. But hey, if anything, this was a good lesson of shooting light rays and trying to shoot seascapes with light rays because typically when the light rays happen, they happen nice and low on the horizon, just like how they did today. So the fact that we were able to get or the fact that we were only able to shoot a telephoto shot kind of worked in our favor because we were able to get a nice uh, telephoto shot of those light rays with some pretty good water flow. But I think I am done pushing my luck because these waves are only getting bigger and bigger. We're gonna get the hell out of here. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Anyways, hit that like button, comment below, subscribe if you aren't already, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh my god. Oh my god. Peace out, guys. <laughs>